Well, what are we fixing today? Well, today I'm finishing uh, the nebulizer. It's been a few weeks, so I'm adding this on to the end of the nebulizer video. Um, I've decided that the Tuya app in there for the nebulizer was useless. I was just pushing the button by hand all the time, and it would run out, and I wouldn't know, and um, it made me crazy. So we're going to go through doing Tuya Convert on Nebulizer and uh, loading the uh, suggested stuff into it, which includes uh, backlogs, it includes templates, it has a light, it has a binary sensor, it has a fan, a lot of complicated stuff, a lot of stuff that I don't exactly understand, or at least don't understand to the point that I can explain it to you. But I'm going to show you how to get it going based on what the experts have decided it works. And um, then I'm going to go do some work on it after that. And if I find some cool stuff to do with it after that, I'll make another video. But we're going to add this to the uh, the original video where I s took it out of the box and set up Tuya, which... Ooh. All right. Let's go. All right. Here we are at the table. And here's the unit running. It's sitting there. I already put it into fast pair mode. Uh, you do that by holding this button down. The nub button down. You hold it down for, I don't know, 10-15 seconds. That's how that gets turned on. It starts blinking like this. I think that's the correct mode. Um, since we're going to flash this, we're going to use Tuya Convert. Here's the Tuya Convert screen. Let me bring it up. Uh, here. Uh, okay, I'm used, used to OBS here. There we go. Here's a 2 convert screen. That uh, will uh, give us access to a Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm going to show you what I got going over here. And you can take a look at the video. Let's see, somewhere up there. Uh, that's from DigiBlur. Uh, Travis has done an awesome job in both working on the Tuya donor uh, Node MCU thing, which I'll show you here in a second, and also you know, I'll show you over there. And also he's that's, he created the sketch for that along with somebody else, and he also did a great video on how to set up Tuya Convert on your system. I'm going to refer you to that because um, nobody does it better, as far as I'm concerned. Right here I have a Raspberry Pi that's running. Well, let's turn it on. Turn on the Raspberry Pi. There we go. That's firing up now. And then there is, on top of it, is the Tuya Convert Donor MCU. So, Node MCU. And, like I said, for more descriptions on exactly what that is, uh, take a look at the video that's attached. And take a look at what Travis did. Uh, this, what happens is this will blink here until it asks for you to, and to you convert, I'll tell you, I should tell you when, but there's a point in there when that'll stop blinking and this provides the donor information for you. So, let me put this back over here so you can see it. Convert. So we're going to log in to the Pi. It should be booted by now. I called mine, what did I call mine? Um, something cute. What is it? Oh yeah. T-U-Y-A-P-I. That's kind of cute, right? Wait, that's not where I put there. I think I just left it. Regular username. He's used the username at the IP address. One sixty-eight dot. Sixty dot five, I think. And the password. I'm not telling you what mine is. But 
but it looks like that. So there's the login. Oh. Don't you hate those things? I hate those things. Because when you squish them, they stink. Go away. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Little comic humor there. All right. So then you go to. Well, what's the folder? I forget. LS. Let's look. Ah, there it is. Change that folder. And if I spelled it right, it would even go better. Right? Now I think I gotta do start flash dot sh. So and that's uh, underscore there we go. And oh you have to do a dot dash in front of it. Dot slash so I know what path to take in the bash. There you go. Yes, we're going to terminate that. And what does that mean? Try it again. I think I bounced the keyboard. Oh, yep, that's what happened. I started to bounce the keyboard. All right, it's setting up. And it says make sure. Well, there's nothing plugged into my OT device because my OT device is a light and a blower. So we're going to do. Oh, and I want you to come over here. And you see now that it's logged in. It sees that it's there. When that's there, it means you're good to go. That blue light. Alright. And to continue. Looking for the device. See if it finds it. I think it's finding it. There it found it. Yep. I guess I gotta push that button like when it's happening and not before because if you go too far before it just stops trying. So let's just try again.
Yeah, I'm pushing buttons and it found it, looks like. <laughs> Guess I should stop pushing buttons. There's a way to take this apart and uh, do things to it. If you blow it up, you can always, you, you won't brick because you can always get at the pins and start it up. Uh, and let's do two. We're going to flash test mode. Yes. All right, should be lashed. Let's hide that screen. I'll just say no. It goes away. And just so you can see, that started blinking again because it released it. So, all right, so there's that. Let's get rid of this screen. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if it's out here. Connections. Wi-Fi. That one. Connect. It's there. All right. Well, it's there, so I got to connect to it offline, and I can't share this very well. I could share it here. That's Mona. So it's there. I'm going to go to a browser. Oh. You can see I'm recording the video on this. Their browser open on here. I'm gonna go over here in case something bad comes up. That should be the address. Let's see. There it is. 168.4.1 is the address always to the test bonus. I'm going to put in a password off offline.
right. See where we start. So let's refresh this. Worth a try. It's not the name I put in there, but that's it. Okay. So, some of this configuration I need to do offline. So, We'll be back shortly. Okay. I got my config. Oh, I touched my face. <laughs> I know. That better? All right. I uh, got everything in there that I need to go. That's all secret stuff. Um, so next we have to do some other stuff. So I need, so let's, let's show you what I got. Uh, I got the module is currently blank. So we're going to, we're going to, there isn't a module type to put in here. So we're going to put in a, go into configure other. And we're going to go to the, um, to Blackadder's GitHub, whatever thing, what's this called? Template Blackadder.com, Maxio, whatever. whatever. So this is a device that I have, the Maxio, Maxio 400 milliliter, blah, 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 blah. anyway, we need this. So we're going to just click copy. Uh, I'm going to go back to the thing. Paste. It's now in there. Hit activate. Save. Never. In a second. In the meantime, we have some uh, backlog, backlog commands to load. So that's coming. There we go. Go to the console. We need to add some rules. And you notice I turn, turn these around. Why does it say Tasmona? I don't want it to say that. Let's go into the change config. Change config. MQTT. Yep. I want the topic to be this. And see it's turned around. All right. We'll come back again. In the meantime, we're going to go over to here. And this is this is this is where I got the thing from. And here's here's come on commands that come in. But it also says here, the GD300 whatever is identical code. So it's the same inside guts, a little different size tank. So I have that open here. And in here we've got the same template. And a lot of stuff. These are commands, these are functions, configuration, and here's some backlog commands. So we're going to load all these backlog commands. Are you back? Yep. Uh, go back to the console. Gensnab, that looks better. Fine. 703. 
Uh, I'm going to update that before we do anything. Go back to the main menu. I touch my face. Yeah, see, I do that all day long. Thing is, I never go out. <laughs> I haven't been out. I went out to the pharmacy twice in the last two weeks. The rest of the time, it's Amazon bringing me stuff or the grocery store bringing me stuff. I don't, I don't go out. So, um, the big C word is a big thing. So let's go. Um, what do I need? Think about it. Uh, firmware upgrade. I'm not going to get it from there. I'm going to choose file. I have a file set. Well, I could get from there. Uh, I want the current release. Should come out as 8.2. That's what I want. Let's just start upgrade. See what happens. Yes. See what happens. Doing anything? That's better. Now, the trick is about this is just don't touch it. It's going to do some stuff. Don't touch it. It's going to go away. It's going to load something. It's going to think, think like it comes back. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Because it's not done. Pretty sure. I can click on console. I won't hurt it. Minimal, see? So just let it go. You don't want to start clicking commands in here because if you do, it's going to make a mess. So it has to load the two step because uh, I guess if you have firmware later, you won't have to load the two step, but right now you have to load the two step. Upgrade successful, restarting. Don't touch it. Until it comes back. Is it back? Like main menu, because that's a command that won't hurt it, it'll just, it's just give it away. Look at that. Console, 8.2, console, oh, I guess it's done, if it comes back to the main menu, it says 8.2, and it doesn't say uh, minimal, then you should be good, so, let's go back into the configuration, let's go to configure, we did the template, we need to, no, we need to go to the console. Because we're going to start filing in these babies. Copy. I don't know if it's going to restart or not. I'm starting to do, okay, starting to do two of your things. All right. Go back over here. Oh, that's not it. Over here. Copy this. Boom. You know, it's because, it's because you guys are watching me, my nose itch is so bad. It's weird how that works. All right. So that's the second one. Turn on rule one. Rule one's on. Uh, 
I don't know what this is, but we're going to put it in there. Optional rule. We're just going to go with it. I like options, don't you? And then... And rule three. All right. All right. Let's copy this, put it in there. Main menu. Power, light, mist, air, light mode. Let's see. Can you see it? Let's see. Let's see. Power. Turns it to something. Let's restart it, see what happens. Hopefully this is going to work. Either that or I just... Well, it'll work. It'll always work. It'll work or explode, right? Exploding is fun. Alright, I figured out what's wrong. I don't know if you noticed, but when I pushed the button on there, the thing flashed fast four times in a row. Boop, 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 boop. When that happened, it, I don't know if it was a power glitch or something, or I don't know exactly what happened, but whenever, if you don't set option 65, um, I forget, I think you got to turn it off. So option 65 to off, I believe. I'm looking at my notes. So 57. Oh, we're going to have to go look because I want to make sure this is right. Option 65, if the thing's turned off four times in a row fast, it resets the config. It, it keeps the IP address. doesn't log on because it doesn't know because it lost, loses everything but the IP address, really. Let's see if we can find that. Over here, there's motor commands. Um, option 65. Okay, that's not what I want. Okay, I want commands. This is supposed to take me to commands. I guess it doesn't anymore. Commands. F. Option 65. It comes default as enabled. You want to set it to 1 and disable it once you have your configuration set and you're not worried about breaking the thing. So, the first thing I'm going to do uh, well, I can just type it in. See, I do have it back. That is nothing. Boop. Let's go to main menu console set option 65 1 it is now on, so now if it gets 
some bumps in a row, it won't go away. And those are there. So, main menu. Light. Lights on. It goes on default thing. Light mode. I don't know what light mode does at the moment. Bar off. Bar on. What's the difference? Oh, power on. Those on the default, which is a low. Oh, you can't see. It is. I can smoke. All right. Turn light off. Turn light on. Turn the mist. What's that do? I'm not exactly sure. Air comes on when it's empty. Light mode. Does unlock it. So I don't know what some of these do. But they're in there now, and now the switches are working. And what does this do? So let's go to here, and you can see I have Jen's Deb, and it should have changed the names to be correct. I have, and that's the fan, and then the light. These are the light states. Uh, Jen's Neb lamp, and then the Pioneer sensor for is it out of juice is right here. So let's go into Home Assistant. I've already come up with the lights one. Let's add an entity panel. Add entities. Uh, nope. 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 Give me a new one. This is. Neb, isn't it there? I didn't restart yet. All right, we're gonna to have to restart Home Assistant because I loaded them and the check the configuration. We can check it again. I checked the configuration. I bet you I didn't load it. So, be back shortly.
All right, we're back. Now let's go back over. Where were we? Home assistant. Create entities. Boom, 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 boom. And just go away because I don't like you. And now let's try nib. Jens nib fan. Neb. Jezbed's lap. Oh, A R O M. Therapy. Wait. All right. Let's change the name of this one. Oh, we can do it after that. That's fine. What does theirs look like? Probably looks a lot like that. It looks exactly like that. And they left that thing on the top. Eh. Let's, eh, well, that's that. Let's leave it on the top. Save. Oh, title. Didn't give it a title. Let's give it a title. We call this a nebulizer. I know it's not. I know it's an aromatherapy, whatever. But she likes purple. Let's give her purple. Save. There it is. All right, let's see what we're going to do with it. Is it on? Lamp came on with it. Can I turn the lamp off? So I have to figure out how this lamp thing works. I turn off the net. I can turn on the lamp alone. All right. That's exciting. Turn it all on. It all off. All right. Well, let's do a little trick. I'm going to tip it up. See how this works in there? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that works in there. There's a little ultrasonic transducer there. Now, if I tip it up and take it out of the water, it should then decide that, hey, it's out of water. So let's see. Let's turn it on. Doesn't like it, but it didn't kick up in there. So maybe I got a problem there. Visual Studio. Power 4. Well, let's look. Power. One, two, three, four, error. Error. Clear the error. Turn on the power. I wonder if you've got to set these in here and then they'll change in there. Anyway. Uh, back to here. Let's turn this on. Well, it doesn't like it because there's no water, right? So if I tip it up and then try to turn it on, it just says, you're nuts. If I tip it back, it stays on. Now let's go back in here. I wonder. I 
So there's some bugs to be worked out, but basically it's working. Now it's just a matter of getting this stuff straightened out. Um, I guess I'm going to call it here. I don't want to take too long. If I come up with something else, well, maybe I'll make a short video and what to do with how to exactly set these. Or if you come up with something or if you have something that works, please send it to me. I'd love to see it. We could share it with our viewers, so that would be great. Um, you know, if I helped you, give me a like. Likes are good. If, uh, you know, maybe if you have, uh, so inclined, you can subscribe. I could use subscribers and we could be one big team of let's fix this stuff. And otherwise I got other videos to watch, so you can watch them. Anyway, until next time, thank you and happy nebulizing.